under 24 hours left to Life is Strange True Colors releases worldwide. What is this, Maggie Pirates, Maggie Pirates, and welcome back to another Life is Strange video here on the freaking channel. I wanted to talk about this real quick because the reviews just came out and I've been reading as many reviews as possible. The Metacritic and Open Critic reviews are also out and they're changing. They're going up and down just a little bit, but so far things are looking really good for life is strange so this is the early review scores so far let's see what we got here let's start with ign they gave it a 9 out of 10 they basically liked it eurogamer recommended it the gamer 5 out of 5 we ccf tech 9.5 Destructoid 9, Game Byte 9, Game Informer 8.5, Windows Central 4 out of 5, EGM surprisingly gave it a 6, there are others that gave it around 3.5 out of 5, 7.5 out of 10, some even gave it a 6. The majority, the good thing is the majority of reviewers gave it above 8, 8 or above, that's the important bit. So when we talk about Life is Strange game, specifically Life is Strange True Colors, it's in a very tricky situation here. Not only it's the new developer altogether handling the Life is Strange, but also at the same time it's in a new direction. You've got new characters. At the same time, the episodic structure is out of the window, so it's full one game. Oh, by the way, it's a minimum 10 hours game. It can go up to 13 hours, depending on how you play it. This game is a tricky because it kind of sets the foot for the future of Life is Strange game and how Square Enix will tackle future Life is Strange games, considering and hoping that Life is Strange 4 is a thing with Max and Chloe, the whole thing can be boiled down into this. It depends from the reviews that I've read, it seems like the Life is Strange fans, the Life is Strange series fan, majority of them will love this game, but it'll still have its cringy dialogues because that is something I've read in so many reviews, which can be a good thing depending on how you look at it. Like some dialogues in Before the Storm, like most of it is, but there were some that could be considered cringy actually worked. So at the end of the day, I feel like it depends on each person. I just hope it has emotional punch like Life is Strange 2 had. Life is Strange 2 cannot be topped in terms of how emotionally gut-wrenching it was. Hopefully there are some really hard-hitting endings here. I'm really hoping for them to go all out since Life is Strange 2 went all out with their endings at the very least. So I'm hoping Life is Strange True Colors do that as well. But enough from me. This is the situation at hand. Greg Miller went as far as to say that Life is Strange True Colors is his game of the year so far, which is really interesting. A lot of people are really, you know, the people who criticized Life is Strange too hard and even before the storm, they're really liking True Colors and I feel like it's going in the right direction. Don't get me wrong, there are some insanely horrific reviews out there that are really thrashing this game to the ground, like six, but we're not going to talk about it. The game is coming out in less than 24 hours anyway. We'll sit here, play the entire game here on the channel so you can watch out for my playthrough and my reactions if you want to watch it. I'll be posting after the playthrough, I'll be posting the endings reaction. So if you just want to skip to the end, you can get that. Anyways, subscribe. Follow me through this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and peace.